Hi, I'm Johnny, and I'm going to teach you how to pack lampshades, lamps, and artwork. First thing you want to do is pick an appropriately sized box. In this case, I have a 3.1 linen box. I'm going to put bumpers on the bottom of it, padding it nicely like so. Okay, now that our box is properly padded with bumpers, I'm going to remove the lampshade from the lamp, putting the finial back on the harp. Don't want that piece to get lost. Now I've got three different shades of different sizes. If your box is big enough and will allow, you can pack several different lampshades in the same box at the same time. Take the smaller one, place it on the inside. Second one right on top of that one. And the third one, covering all of them. So you've got a nice efficient box there. Okay, now that our lampshades are in the box, we're gonna complete the packing process by putting a couple of bumpers on the top. A couple here. We don't want to put too much undue pressure on the top of the lampshade, so just a couple of these will do. I want to talk now a little bit about silk lampshades. Uh, these have a silk lining on the inside, so when you're packing these, you want to pack them individually. Make sure nothing touches the inside of this. It's very, very delicate. So pack it individually in a box uh, with plenty of padding on the top, but again, nothing on the inside. All right, moving on. Moving on to the lamp here, we want to remove the harp with the finial on top and the bulb. We want to pack these together in some clean white newsprint. We'll use a spot of tape to keep it together. Make sure nobody thinks it's a bumper. Place this hardware to the side. I've got a paper pad here, which is what I'm going to use to pack the actual lamp. Place it on its side. You want to pack this pretty loosely in your paper pad, incorporating as much air and wrinkled paper as much as possible in order to prevent any damage. It's a fairly nicely packed lamp here. Also want to put a little tape on the outside, like so. Okay, so we're ready to put this in the box. I'm going to put this off to the side. Get our box up here. As with the lampshades, you can pack several lamps uh, in the same box at the same time if the, if the size of the box permits. It's perfectly fine to put several lamps in as long as it's padded properly. You don't want any kind of shifting uh, inside the box which would cause damage. Uh, so I'm going to put one more in here. Place this on the inside. Pad it up nicely with a couple of bumpers. You can see everything's fairly, it's, it's loose in there, nothing's really compressed too tightly, but just to keep everything from moving. I'm going to take our bulb and the harp, place it on the inside, and place another couple of bumpers across the top of the box. Again, you don't want any space between your pieces inside the box and the, the top flap of the box because that might cause your box to collapse. Okay, this box is all set to be closed up. Tape it well and label it properly. Uh, we're going to move on to artwork here. Normally when you're packing up artwork, you want to place it in a box such, such as this. Uh, picture boxes are available in many sizes, anywhere from 20 by 30 to 40 by 50, depending upon the size of your artwork. I've got a piece here. This is a mirror, which I'm going to pack in a paper pad. When wrapping framed art, you don't ever want to use bubble wrap because bubble wrap is plastic and that might stick to the finish of your frame and that could damage your piece, which nobody wants. So use this stuff. All right, this piece is ready to go in the box. Using our picture box here, we have it Closed up on one side. I've got my bumpers on the inside here, well padded. I'll place this piece vertically inside, making sure our ornate part is on the top here. Slide it inside, slide the piece in the box. Compressing the bumpers on the bottom just a little bit, not too much. As you can see, this piece sticks out a little bit here. We're going to deal with that a little bit later. 
Now, if you want to, and your size, uh, the size of your pictures adds up to the size of your box, you can place two or three pieces in. You want to make sure you place them glass to glass and back to back. Don't want to damage any of the pieces. This fits in rather nicely. Again, compressing the paper on the bottom a little bit. Now we're faced with the problem of having too much art for not enough box. In this case, lean that over there. We'll take another picture box. I'm going to place it over the top of this one, like so. And we're going to do a little bit of a telescoping effect here. Sort of elongating our package to incorporate the size of the art, if this works well for me. Slide it down, leaving a little bit of airspace on the top here. And then, as with everything, use our bumpers, placing it over the top and the sides of the piece to prevent any shifting. And then, we're ready to close it up. Taping properly and labeling, and that's that. Some items like large glass tops, marble tops, and gold leaf frames may need to be crated. These crates are created individually for each piece in order to secure the piece and the load and ensure maximum protection during transit. Many other items may require special attention such as pianos, chandeliers, swing sets, pool tables, exercise equipment, and grandfather clocks. Make sure you hire specials who can take care of any crating, disassembly, and reassembly of these items. If your movers can't or won't refer you to a specialist, maybe they're not the right company for you.